Hi, this is Dave Bain. Welcome to another episode of The Front Row. Uh, tonight I'm flying solo. I don't have my co-host with me here tonight, Amanda Mitchell, and we hope she'll be back next time and we wish her a speedy recovery. But we're not short on personalities today, I can assure you of that. I'm in the studio today with the all-female tribute band to Metallica, Lars, please don't sue us, called Miss Metallica. And I'm going to go ahead and have them introduce themselves and then we're going to get right into it. We don't have time for me to make any fat jokes about myself today. we got to get right into it because these ladies have to get over to the State Theater and, and put on a show for us tonight. So let's start with you, Gigi, Gina. Hi, my name is Gina Gleason. I play lead guitar and sing in Miss Talica. I'm Kayleen Redding, and I'm the drummer for Miss Talica. I'm Teddy Tarnoff, and I'm the bass player in Miss Talica. I'm Julia Rayner, and I'm the rhythm guitar player. Okay, and... Uh, Julia, try not to, you know, we do these pre-interview, uh, uh, interviews, I guess you'd call them, right. and you just talk the whole time, so please try not to All right, I'll hold back a little this time. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. Miss Talica, what, uh, I guess you guys are big Metallica fans? Oh, yeah. <laughs> not at all. Not at all? <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about the band, um, and what part of the catalog you celebrate, and, uh, what we can expect to come see you when we see you guys play tonight. Basically, we cover the first four albums from Kill 'Em All to End Justice because that's what we like. <laughs> and um, when people come to see us, I think that's a, a pleasant surprise because Metallica plays, obviously, their newer stuff mostly. So, so that's pretty much what we do. Okay. And so you don't play anything off St. Anger, right? Because I hate no. that album. <laughs> no, we don't play anything off St. Anger. Right. Um, how long have you guys been together as Metallica? Um, two and a half years. Yeah. Two and a half years. Yeah, and I've, I've seen your reviews, and a lot of people say that Kayleen's a better drummer than Lars. Is that true? <laughs> they <do> yes. Say <laughs> that. It's, it's true. It's true. I know they say it, but is it true? Is she a better drummer? Um, Kayleen? She's an awesome drummer. <laughs> That's not really fair to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little biased. She's an awesome drummer. We can leave it at that. Yeah, and I've, and I've seen you guys' clips. You guys are great. Um, yeah. You know, one of the reviews I read about you guys is like, why are you pay $90 to see Metallica when you can come see you guys? I mean, you guys have really gotten a lot of reviews, uh, great reviews. Has that helped you with getting gigs and your touring? And Yeah, it can't hurt. <laughs> yeah. The more people that like it, the more people will tell their friends, the more um, buzz there is, and the more, you know, they demand Metallica in their area. So it's easier to say, hey, we want to come to, you know, your venue in your city, and then, you know, and they see all the people who want to have us there. And you guys have toured all over the country, right? We've, we've done um, East Coast and down South, um, primarily. We haven't actually been to the West Coast yet with, um, or the Midwest with this, with this band. But you're getting ready to go to Europe, right? We are getting ready to go to Europe. And when are you guys going to Europe? We're going to Europe um, May 17th until May 30th. And is it just it's just a UK tour? Or is it all Europe? Um, just the UK, um, up to Scotland, and then you know, down around again. Yeah, down around again. No Ireland, unfortunately. No yeah. Ireland. But but you are going to Scotland. We are going to Scotland. Oh, cool. I'm Scottish. If anybody cares. I care. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tell me a little bit about how you guys met and what made you decide to put a Miss Talica tribute band together. Um, or Miss Talica, I'm sorry, oh, maybe there will be a Miss Talica tribute band one day, a Miss Talica tribute band. <laughs> um, I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather see these guys as Metallica. Maybe there I said it. Wow. Me too. Okay, so tell me a little bit about you guys, uh, how you got together and decided to, to do this. Um, we all met at the same music school. We all took lessons there and um, the three of us with uh, two other guitar players started a King Diamond tribute band called Queen Diamond, and Teddy here is the queen. Is that cool? <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, so what, I guess we had some shows booked, and um, what you, we couldn't do them. You tell the story one. very badly. <laughs> I don't know what I'm we were a King Diamond Merciful Fate tribute for um, a good year, and then. Um, someone offered us a show that we couldn't really play as Queen Diamond and so he was like, hey, why don't you just play some Metallica songs? Like, oh, it's just that easy. And, um, <laughs> but it kind of was and we had a month to learn all of Master of Puppets and it was a sold out show with radio support and, and it's kind of been its own thing That's ever since. 
Yeah, I, I got to tell you, when I saw that you guys did this King Diamond tribute band, I was real excited. I'm, I'm a King Diamond fan from way back, and it, it blew my mind that there was an all-female tribute band to King Diamond, and you guys do Miss Talca. Are there any other groups you guys would like to conquer in the future as to be an all-tribute band? So? Man of War. Man of War? Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think two tribute bands is enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy? Anybody um, else? Yeah, no, I agree with Kayleen. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot. Same man of war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we learned by playing tributes, by playing covers. So I think once we all graduated from music school, we were kind of excited to do our own thing. But it's really fun to come back to this and be able to travel more and get more opportunities. And I'm going to have to take a note right now to talk to our producer, Phil, on camera. Phil, I'm not, the clock's not working, so I have no idea how much time I have with these ladies. So you're going to have to tell me when we're almost done. Okay, Phil? Good job. Anyway, sorry about that, but uh, let's go back to uh, talking about the music. Now, you guys do, you're, you're more than a tribute band. You guys, you guys are all in an original band together, too, right? Um, myself and Teddy and Kayleen just started uh, an original metal band that... Um, I mean, we just started writing, and we just brand new. Uh, it's called Christ, and uh, we're very excited about it. Um, it's got w basically what we want the writing to be is like very old school, like Merciful Fate, um, Diamond Head, Angel Witch sounding like metal, really creepy, evil, awesome metal. So, because that's what we love. Cool. And then you'll know when you made it when there's an all male tribute to, to Christ, Christ, right? Yes. Called <laughs> the Virgin. Hey, Kaylee woke up. <laughs> I was talking to these ladies before we came on camera, and I'm telling you, they're all very high spirit. I thought they were going to kick my ass, to be quite honest. <laughs> and you guys are freezing up on me, except for Teddy. Come on. You guys are playing this tonight. This is always how All right, let's do it. Let's really do it for real now. Um, <laughs> do you guys ever plan on suing your own fans in the future? Never. Suing your own fans. <laughs> It worked out well for them, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, our fans. We love are people who come to see us. We're like, thank you for. We love you for coming to see us. Thank okay. you for supporting us. Thank you. Do you guys have mostly a male audience or a female audience, or is it a mix, or what would you say? Um, it, it's a fair mix. We get a lot of men because um, primarily men love Metallica, mm -hmm. but there are women, of course. Um, and very often we get girlfriends of men who come to see us who go, "Oh my God, I didn't know girls could do that." And then they're like, they like it for the wrong reasons, but it's okay because a fan's a fan, and. Um, and we love having people to play for, the people who enjoy what we do. Yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, which was when I was in high school, which you know was before any of you were born, um, Metallica was like, you know, girls wouldn't even talk to you if you listen to Metallica. So for, for <laughs> this 20 years later, to see an all-girl tribute band in Metallica is just... Boys I won't talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> you now it around, boys won't talk to you. Um, and you guys are in your uh, your wardrobe for tonight. This is pretty much what you guys are going to wear on what stage. What you see right? is what you get. Kind of like, <laughs> kind of like how Metallica's attitude was in the beginning. You know, they didn't. They came out in a period when glam was really big, and they uh, they would take the sh stage in their street clothes. And that, I mean, this is kind of like you're carrying on that same attitude. The early Metallica by celebrating the early part of their catalog. Absolutely. I mean, we get down in a, the spandex on our free time, so. <laughs> That's pajamas for me. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to ask each of you all a question. What, starting with Gigi what, or Gina. What, 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 Gigi, Gina, what do you prefer to go by? Okay, I. It doesn't matter. If you mm -hmm. like Gigi and you think that's fun, that's cool. But if you prefer Gina, my real name's Regina. So I got all kinds of names going on, but you know. Reg. Reg, nah, I don't get down with Reg. Reggie. I don't Reggie. get down with Reggie, but Gina, Gigi. Okay. All right, well I'm gonna ask each of you a question. What's your favorite Metallica song to play? My favorite Metallica song to play is Ride the Lightning. Ride the Lightning. What about you, Kayleen? What's your favorite? Disposable Heroes. Is that because of the drumming in it? Oh yeah, there's some very sick double bass action and, in that and song. Is that because you get to show off your chops more in that song? Oh yeah, it's all about that. Yeah. <laughs> all about that. <laughs> Yeah. Don't talk so much. Uh, <laughs> Teddy, what about you? What's your favorite song to fly? Um, Orion. Orion? Nice. Because of the bass? Yeah, um, I mean, not, that, lines, not that there isn't plenty for me to do in any right. other song, but it's more melodic and it's, it's kind of, you know, it's just, it's, it's a great song. It's a really heavy song, actually. 
What about you, Julia? Probably Four Horsemen. Four that's, Horsemen? Yeah, for now, that's my one solo, too, so. That's cool. Because yeah. you're playing, what are you playing, rhythm? And, and yeah, so, rhythm. I just started. It's only my third show tonight. Okay. So, so it's all new to me. Gigi, Gina, whatever you want to call yourself. You, uh, you, you, play, you do the lead and the vocals? I do the lead and the vocals, yeah. Man, that must be really challenging. Uh, it's fun. I have fun. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. It's cool. It's all good. Now, my favorite song, as I told these ladies before we came on camera, is Enter Sandman, and I thought they were going to kill me. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a sellout because I like Enter Sandman. How embarrassing for you. I, I can actually play it on guitar. I is that why you like it? Kind of, but it, I, I heard it and it was, the video was cool visually and everything. And I work like in a, a yeah. <laughs> I work in a guitar store, and just all the just forever Enter Sandman riffs. It's like, <laughs> like, come on. Worse than stairway. Much worse than stairway. <laughs> so, do you guys have day jobs? I work in a guitar store. <laughs> what about you, Kaylin? And she's in college. And oh. I'm in college too. I'm a studious type. What about you? Just I have, yeah, right I have now. no day job. <laughs> well, I'm supposed to. Have, this is the reason why I bring this up is because I'm supposed to ask Teddy about her day jobs. What's your day job? I, I'm a waitress at a pub, but I also work at the zoo. And what's the your Philadelphia Zoo. The first zoo. The first zoo. America's first zoo. What's your favorite animal? <laughs> uh, the prehensile tailed skink slash the burrowing owl, which is this big. Did you say burrowing owl? <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside joke for somebody. But, uh, <laughs> I can't imagine. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you later off camera why that's funny. Yes. Um, and what about you, Julia? Do you have a day job? I just quit my day job, actually. Nice. Really? Miss Talia, yeah. that's successful? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I took off camera. <laughs> I actually, um, I've got a lot going on musically besides Miss Talica, too. I've got a solo project, and I'm in a band that's kind of a metal band, kind of bluesy. But... I'm just I'm trying to make music happen now, but I actually used to work with animals too. I worked at a veterinary hospital. And what's your favorite animal? It's dogs and cats. Dogs and cats. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't really like cats, but you know, this wow. is this isn't cats. I have a cat that would scratch your face. <laughs> your fotch. His face. <laughs> that face. Um, now, uh, Teddy, you said you wanted to interview me. Before we came on camera, is there anything you want to ask? Is there anything? Said I want oh, to interview all right. You. Well, was there something you like to ask me? Let's see. Would you like to write it down? Yes. <laughs> you won't find it in the notes. There's I no will find it in, in the notes. Um, do you hang out with all girl tribute bands? Do I hang out with all girl tribute yeah. bands? No, this is the first all girl tribute band I've ever hung cool. out with. Um, Death Magnetic. <laughs> oh, what does that make me think of? Yeah, yeah. It, oh, it's uh, written down uh, in my notes, so I thought. Uh, well. <laughs> I like the songs, but I thought the production was horrible. I agree with you there. You concur in my assessment? I concur. Um, okay. What do you think about the snare drum in St. Anger? It sounds like he's hitting metal. It's awful. Yeah. Kayleen, your thoughts? Not the best decision he's made. Yeah. That, that's a really, really not a bright moment, I think, in the Metallica uh, catalog. Um, tell us about your crossover from... Uh, uh, I'm all out of notes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell us about your crossover from um, spandex to leather. Spandex to leather? Well, I've always really enjoyed the feel and look of leather. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, I wasn't afraid to put on spandex back in the uh, glam days, as people know me now. And I'm not afraid to put on some white face. Fair enough. And rock and roll all night and party every day. <laughs> yeah, we're going to not go with that. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> So you and I have something in like common. This. We've both dressed up as King Diamond. We do have that in common. I've actually done it on several occasions. You've probably done it more than I. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I actually was going to bring a picture of myself dressed up as oh, King Diamond to surprise have. you today. but You should have. Oh, man. Maybe if we <laughs> but here's the question for you. Do you also wear a corset? Mm. Do I wear... But I look like I wear a corset? I mean, come on. What people do in their private lives... <laughs> I so, you have written there any rock stories. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, are you going to take over the interview now? Would you yeah. like to interview your own band? I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> I have some things to straighten out. <laughs> oh, really? This is like a therapy session. You guys, okay, well, let me ask you this. You guys tour a lot and you go all around the country or part of the country, whatever. Um, do you guys have a spinal tap moment or an interesting story from the road you'd like to share with us? 
Um, we did have a Spinal Tap moment. Well, I don't remember what venue it was, but we had we totally had a Spinal Tap moment where we couldn't find the stage. <laughs> it was in uh, the UK. Was it in the UK? And we yeah. were like walking, not quite as much. Not all England! <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll! <laughs> that was crazy. We what went down that? all these hallways and steps. Really? Just like... Yeah. Yeah. And you got lost just like the Spinal Tap? Yeah. They were like, it's this way. I was like, okay. And we start walking. Yeah. And we kept going <laughs> this way. <laughs> That's I couldn't funny. find the dressing room today. Um, Even though you've been there before? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now, you guys are going to play the State Theater tonight, which is in Falls Church. Um, have you guys played there before? Um, yes. <laughs> uh, as Miss Town. No, that as Miss Town. No. So this will be a first, a first treat to us here in Virginia. Yes. When, um, when she and she were a little bit younger, and I guess I was younger too, if they were younger, um, they played there with Adrian Ballou. Um, and when we pulled up to the theater, we saw the marquee said Les Zeppelin, and we thought it was the funniest thing that we ever heard, and kind of actually started all of this in motion. Cool. Yeah, they've been around for a while. Les Zeppelin comes they've around. They've been around for 10 years. I, I gotta tell you, you guys are gonna be the first all-female tribute band I've seen. I'm very excited to see you guys tonight. Is there a, anything virgin. else you guys want to pump as far as, like, upcoming shows or anything like that, other than tonight that you guys want to talk about? Um... Not shows, but just general support and um, well, give a, us a holiday. Do you have a website? You want we to have a MySpace and a Facebook. Um, MySpace.com backslash Miss Talica Band. And Facebook, something weird, just search for it. Just I, search it's Ms. like Talica. weird numbers and stuff. <laughs> weird um, numbers. Yeah, because it's like a page and, it, oh, and it's yeah. weird. Um, but yeah, we, we love people who love us. We have a tweet too, we have a twatter. Oh, yeah, we do. We have a twatter. Do we really? Yeah, we get so much on our show, and I don't understand how it works. I was told I had to, so I did. Mm -hmm. it, do you know how it works? I do not like it. I don't it's understand. It's okay. It. You I, put I your don't... twats up, and people can twat at you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that even allowed? Is any of this even allowed? Yeah, it's like, going to be like beat hours. <laughs> you put your beep. <laughs> <laughs> that could be anything. <laughs> now, are you guys friends with other all female tribute bands? Um, We're friends we... with the, the Iron Maidens. Well, well, we're friends with the guitar just, player and the Iron Maidens, right. um, and we're friends with... Queen Diamond, they're cool. They suck. <laughs> and we're friends with um, the band, the Girls, 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 used to be a Motley Crew. Right, and the, the guitar player from Girls, Girls, Girls is Judas Priest. Yeah, right. we, we know them too. Okay. Um, have you seen all those bands play? Mm -hmm. We haven't yeah. seen the Maidens, actually. Oh, yeah. no, we right. haven't seen the Iron Maidens. We know, I mean, we know Courtney back in the day from when we started Queen Diamond. She, she was still an East Coast girl, and, and we, she was in that. Um, same music school as us and all that same stuff. Um, but we haven't seen the Iron Maidens play. We've seen Jewish Priestess, and we've seen Girls, Girls, Girls. Cool. Now, I just want, you know, for our viewers out there to know, these girls are the real deal. They're all accomplished musicians. They've been playing their instruments for a long time. And um, this isn't a gimmick. I mean, these guys love Metallica and they know how to play it. And um, I mean, they don't even do the stuff where Metallica sold out. <laughs> Kayleen, you got to talk. You're, you're freaking me out. Say something. We're going to talk She's over you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's true. true. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. She has that. a fever. <laughs> She's sick. Oh, yeah, yeah. I woke up with like a 102.8. Oh, are you sick? Yeah. Really? You feel yeah. cheap now? No, I, uh, I don't want to get ill. Right, so just, it's good that we're in an open room and not an enclosed space. <laughs> so you're breathing uh, heavily on each other. at this theater. So you're, gonna yeah, still, you're still the playing the show even though you're sick. Yeah, I was, I was worried about it. I didn't. This was like the first time I've been sick since like fifth grade. <laughs> like when I was sick, Which wasn't then, that long ago. Yeah, <laughs> when I was sick, then I, I didn't go to school for the whole week. But like. I don't know. I've never felt like as sick as I have yesterday, and luckily my fever broke. So you're good now. Yeah. Well, okay, kind of. Better? I still feel like. Do you need me to light a candle for you before the show? Because I'll do it. Maybe. <laughs> that that kind of sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say a couple prayers. Make sure you make it through. Yeah. But yeah, man, the show must go on, right? Mhm. Mm so cool. Um, maybe you'll break your fever though with all that drumming up there. <laughs> I don't know, maybe my fever will probably will come back. Or <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what kind of guitar do you play, Gina? I play a Jackson Dinky Pro Series. And what about you, uh, Kayleen? What kind of drums yeah, do you play? What kind of guitar do you play? <laughs> <laughs> she plays guitar. Hey, I'll tell the jokes on my show. Kayleen. Tom is going to get on them. <laughs> 
my opinion, Tama makes the best drums. So you play Thomas? Yeah. Okay. Sponsor us. And what kind of bass do you play? I'm Thunderbird. Mm -hmm. Thunderbird. And Julie, what kind of guitar? I play my Strat still. I mm -hmm. haven't invested in my metal guitar yet. You, you, <laughs> Strats can be kind of a metal guitar, or no? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, no. I think so. Yeah, I, I mean, played a Strat in so. Queen Diamond for a while. That's true. Yeah, what does Andy LaRogue play? Plays a Strat, right? Um, mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Please don't kill me, King Diamond. I'm a huge fan. But, uh, yeah, me either. I can't I'm remember not. what he plays. Hopefully you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. King Diamond. <laughs> Call us. He's eating cereal. He's like, I love this show. <laughs> and like a pink fuzzy robe. How wonderful. I, I know we're here to pump Miss Talca. I'm sorry, but I have not been able to stop talking to Phil about Oh my God! There's an all-girl Queen uh, King Diamond tribute band. I just have not been able to. It's an all-girl Queen Diamond tribute. <laughs> yeah, it's all-girl Queen Diamond tribute. It is true that girls like King Diamond, yeah, but boys I mean, won't talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> have any of you guys seen King Diamond in concert? I have. Yeah, I, I saw. I was telling you earlier. I saw him on the Them tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was. I don't think I was alive. <laughs> that was 1990. Are the Them alive? tour? Mm-hmm. Why am I thinking it was so much earlier? He did. <sighs> I was, was barely the first alive. album was uh, Bandy Alive. There was I'm, Abigail, and then there was the album before that. What was the one before Abigail? Um, uh, Fatal Portrait. Yes. God, I can't believe I froze on camera like that with a, with a King Diamond You're a reference. You're a big King Diamond. Uh, no, I am. I'm a huge <laughs> King Diamond fan. My favorite King Diamond song is Welcome Home. I heard you guys don't really do that one. We do that one. That's some good sometimes. drumming in that, right, Kaylin? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mickey D is amazing. Yeah, Mickey D is in also what other band? Motorhead. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A plus. That when I saw him, he didn't do a drum solo. What, Motorhead? Yeah. There's no time for drum solo. No, he, he played like somewhere like farther up in Jersey like the next day and did a drum solo. My friend was like, guess what Mickey D did? Uh, <laughs> maybe he had a fever that day. Probably. <laughs> um... So, what are you guys going to open up with tonight, or do you like to leave that as That's a surprise? That's a surprise. That's a surprise. That's going to surprise Enter Sandy, me. I don't probably. even know what we're opening. <laughs> don't tease him. Mm -hmm. I won't tease you. Battery, maybe? maybe. Not tonight. Maybe. Like fire with fire? Maybe. No. Maybe. Um, have you guys had a chance to meet Metallica yet? No. No. But, we but if they're watching in their pajamas and eating cereal, like they too can call us. You can call us, yeah. You're <laughs> twat us. <laughs> um, we know that um, Lars knows about us at least, and yeah. he knows about Queen Diamond. And why? Too, and why does Lars know about you guys? Tell me that story. Um, I I don't know how he knows <laughs> about us, but I know that he knows about us because um, when they were on tour with Mastodon. He, Lars and um, Bran got very tight, and Bran told me that he was talking about us. Who's, who's Bran? Bran Deller, the drummer in Mastodon. Oh. Yeah, I don't really know too much of that new metal, like the Mastodon or the Devil Driver, or, you know, I don't. Mastodon's sick. Really? They're good? Mm -hmm. Don't they have a document, a DVD coming out or, or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what am I, Netflix? I don't know. Well, you we were talking about movies earlier, too. Not that. Um, do you guys play a lot in the Philly area? Because you guys are from Philly, right? Yeah, yeah, we just as much as we try to play. Like you know, we try and hit locally. Like you know, on like every couple months, we don't want to like we don't want to waste our fans on us. And we don't want them to be like annoyed or jaded by us. So. So you want them always coming back wanting more? Yeah, right. Has Absolutely. anybody famous come to see you yet? Because I know like with the Iron Maidens, uh, I've seen them. You know, Iron Maiden's actually come to see them and other people. Do you know if any 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 big names come My to check you guys out? My mom will come see us now and again. <laughs> your mom? Your mom's famous? My mom. Who? My mom. My grandma. My grandma. Oh, okay. Your grandmother? Yeah. Wow, how old's your grandmother? Grandmom age. <laughs> Grandmom age? Hey, <laughs> watch the age joke. <laughs> um, but did you, do you know if anybody like like a big name has come to check you guys out yet or anything? I think like the that? singer of Shadows Fall was that one show. Was it the Queen Diamond show? I think so. Uh, I think he was up in Boston, maybe, when we played Harper's Ferry. Mm. Um, we opened so. for Anvil at the 930 Club. And oh, I know did they you watch us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I met um, the drummer from Anvil when I went to go see their movie, um, Rob Reiner, mm -hmm. no relation. <laughs> and, uh, to you? I love that. No, no. to Rob Reiner. Rob Reiner. I know! <laughs> what did I tell you about scooping on my comedic prowess? 
Anyways, um, he's a super nice guy. Yeah, they're really nice. That That's a great movie. I love that's that movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. I mean, talk awesome. about guys that just wouldn't give up, man. And, and the movie yeah. actually brings tears to my yeah. eyes. Yeah, it made me cry. Makes me cry, you know. Some kind of monster makes me cry. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because it's so long. <laughs> Why? Because Metallica comes off so lame. <laughs> They're gonna hate me for this. They love you, Metallica. By the way, I'm the one who's making <laughs> making fun of you. Um, well, it looks like we're getting ready to wrap up here. Is there anything I haven't touched on that you guys really want to talk about? Or again, that's for your private time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep your mind out of the gutter. Is there anything you guys? <laughs> is there anything you guys want to like talk about? <clears throat> Uh, get your name out there, or or, or anything. Gina Gleason. <laughs> Gina Gleason. <laughs> we can just do this for the next minute and seven seconds. Gina Gleason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you can find these guys on the Facebook, on the MySpace. You guys don't have your own website yet. Uh, we don't. We're working on it. We're that's that's, on a, that. that's story. a story. That's a story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have to have you guys back on again. Um, we're going to actually, Phil and I are going to actually go check these guys out tonight and we're hopefully going to have some live footage of them, which you probably already have seen, or I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a separate show on these guys where I do a recap and I give you uh, my review. And as you all know, I can be a pretty harsh critic, Jeez. so uh -oh. you guys better be Great. on your best uh, tonight. Way to make me nervous. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are going to do fine. I read nothing but good reviews about you guys. No, you obviously didn't read the review from Bristol. <laughs> Bristol what, Virginia? No. Yes. <laughs> Bristol I've seen Mars nothing squid. but good stuff about you guys. <laughs> Teddy, you're down playing. It was really fun to meet you guys. Thanks so much for coming in the studio Thank today. You so Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, I'm yeah, so fired up to see you guys. Will you guys come back on our show again? Please. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, great. Once again, this is Miss Talca. I'll be checking them out tonight at the State Theater. And I'm Dave Bain, and I'll see you in the front row, and I'll see Miss Talca in the front row tonight. Thanks oh, yeah.